ni teknamsangi ya jishinde.com Welcome to day 2 of 30 days of AL and today we are going to cover the X-rec and the rec. These are complex data types in AL and a complex data type stores more than one value so that let's look at the best way to use a the extra can rec so we have a simple table here with a number and a name and in the table that we are having we are confirming uh, the response like we let the user enter the name and we make them confirm that they really want to input that particular name so if they confirm then we don't do anything and if they don't confirm we could throw an error and say that uh, just an error to show that we are not agreeing with they are not agreed so they don't want to commit that so let me just run this and then we can see how to help it uh, okay how to make it better using xrec and rec so i will run the package create this particular package publish it to the server so it's opening so we have this table here and uh, i can create a value 2 and say uh, let's say tech tech namsangi so sure to say the name to tech namsangi so if i say no then we'll get an error that here's the error that we have an we cannot do anything to it we cannot set that name to that particular value but if we say um a yes to tech namsangi we'll be able to create this value and name has been set to that so if i go back here we can see this is a value so i will edit the same uh, the same page and remove the i set it back to tech namsangi but remember this value hasn't changed so it's a bit a little bit of redundant because the user hasn't changed anything but you are still confirming again to see if there is something they have changed so i say yes okay okay we have done something but what is the best way of, of doing this if i stop this uh, publishing i could come here or i can come here and say if rec the rec holds the value of the current record rec.name is not equal to xrec.name so the xrec will hold the value of the record that we the old record that we are trying to update it's really used in the change log to to see the previous record and the uh, the the current record so even before i do this i will message out the uh, xrec i'll say the xrec name will be xrec.name then the rec name will be the rec.name rec.name so that we can see the difference with these two variables i want us to see the changes but now we have modified so when there is a variance between this rec and xrec then we go forward or go ahead and do this validation we only run the code when there is a change not any other time okay we'll do the usual run compile compile and run and be able to see the difference between xrec and rec and when to use it so i'll come back to the same value that we had modified i will remove this return it back escape so the xrec name is technamsangi the rec name is technamsangi so there's no change okay 
so we haven't done the validation so if we say a l here so the x rec you see we have added a l but it is still picking the previous record which is technam sangi and the rec name will have now the new l and we expect the validation because there was a change in the values and here is here we are with our validation so are you sure to change the name you're sure and we have updated our name so that's how you can be able to use x rec and rec to compare the previous record and the current record and again i invite you to update the google form that i'll put on the description if you like to share the struggles that you have been having with AL and the topics that you'd like to learn so that you can help the business central community grow that's it for this video i will see you in day three of 30 days of AL. see you there if you enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one